Hey folks. Holy crap. I can't believe how much everything's melted out there already. Oh, I, I went to oh, independent. <clears throat> Walked inside there. Brought my stuff out. Walked over to the pharmacy. Brought my stuff out. I went to McDonald's. Got my coffee. And by the time I drove downtown, I was like, I'm sweating. <laughs> Dress like this, I'm sweating. Oh my goodness. The temperature's beautiful. So I went for a nice little drive. And I don't think I'm going to show today's drive. I'm just going to talk about a few things. And just show highlights. Because it's just, it's too hard for me right now to, to really... Thank you. I'm still I'm still recovering. So I don't know if I'm gonna get to this snowbank out right here. Actually let me put this in my pocket. So my hand is free. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this. I'd like to. I wanna get rid of this too. <laughs> but I can't do anything with the car. I, I thought they were leaving this morning. I don't know when they're actually leaving. So the car is still here. But it's just, I don't think I'm going to get to it. Because we're supposed to get a lot of rain. And like double digit temperatures. So... <laughs> Okay, there's something you don't see every day. A dump truck just went by with round hay, bale, hay bales in the back. That's kind of funny. So, like double digit temperatures, it's going to be so nice. This is going to melt so fast. So Niagara region now has a flood watch. <laughs> I imagine we're probably going to be, you know, other places are going to have it too. But... So I went out and there's like huge puddles everywhere I had to slow down for. So I don't get soaked driving through them. I went to... Independent. And... I got some canned cat food and I, I was, I was going to get Tums. The acid coming up is... Oh, it's driving me absolutely insane. It's so painful. I want to take a a deep breath like that last night. That even hurts right here. I went to take a big deep breath last night and it gave me the hiccups. Oh my god, that was so painful. And I was in bed at that time. Uh, and the water bottles are downstairs. The only way I can get rid of hiccups is to like guzzle water really quick. That's the only way. It, it works every time. It's non. It's. it's <laughs> unfailing way to, to stop the hiccups for me doesn't work with everybody but everybody has their way of stopping them but that's what works for me I just drink water but I would have had to get out of bed get dressed and go downstairs and it, it was so painful but thankfully I, they stopped after about seven or eight and it hurt so much so I got looking at different things like I googled it you know and acid reflux, heartburn, indigestion, uh, oh, apparently those are all the same thing, I didn't know that. And there's, there's a word, GERD or something, G-E-R something, I can't remember exactly what it, the term is, it, it's a chronic condition that causes that. I didn't know any of this, I just, <laughs> I just know it's acid reflux, I know it's, I know it's not my lungs, I know it's my my stomach because like the acid's coming up into my mouth that's got nothing to do with my lungs so yeah, different things and it said when you're trying to sleep sleep with your head propped up sleep on your left side because apparently your esophagus goes into the right on the right side of your body goes into that side of your stomach so if you lay on your left then that tube is actually at the top of your stomach and it's supposed to help stop that from happening and if you're propped up, then, you know, gravity is going to hold it. Well, that doesn't do much when it's happening when you're sitting up. 
<laughs> it really didn't help with the sleeping any, but sitting up, you know, it, it's still... I can't drink anything. Uh, smoking makes it really bad. Drinking coffee makes it really bad, and apparently those are two major causes of acid reflux. So <laughs> I can't win. So the only thing, the only solution I could come up with is get Tums, because Tums is supposed. To, I drop the camera. Tums is supposed to neutralize the acid. So okay, so I'll try that. I went today. And <laughs> I'm thinking, oh no, no, but I went into, well, first of all, Volume Art, or I still call it Volume Art, but Independent, they have a very, very limited drug supply right now. Their shelf's pretty empty. And no Tums in there. So I walked over to the the pharmacy. And I said, holy crap, are they ever, their shelves are just bare. Unbelievable. So I, I really didn't know where to look for stuff like that. So. I asked somebody, she pointed to it right down at the end of this aisle. Oh yeah, they got them. So, I don't know how long I'll need, I'll need them, but I got a really big <laughs> value pack. <laughs> Cost me $13. A very large one, so it, it's going to last me. Um, hopefully till it... So apparently this isn't a really fast virus. I've still got it. Um, I'm not going to list all the problems that I'm still having, but... Uh, it's hanging on. It's just that the that major discomfort, intestinal discomfort, was one day, maybe a day and a half. Uh, the vomiting, like I said, was only a couple hours. I never got that. Uh, and then after that, I I kind of forgot to mention. I also got the after all that passed, then you get the the sweating, shivering. That's very uncomfortable too. So that that didn't last long. So it just seems like it is done, but it's not done. It's still I've still got it. It's still in me. Yeah, it's just affecting me different ways. But I use the washroom normally now, so that's good. That's a plus. Uh, I decided to take a chance last night. We ordered pizza. I got down a full stomach full, and I never really had a problem except for that acid reflux. So. But <clears throat> I think right now I'm just going to eat a little bit at a time instead of gorging like that. So I'm looking at the... EMT supervisor paramedic guy across the street. That's not good. I know why he's there. The other night, uh, when I walked down to Timmy's, uh, he came out and was talking to us. He was telling me about uh, the problem over there. So, anytime I see an ambulance type vehicle over there, I'm thinking, uh oh, but they're leaving. They're not taking anybody out. They might just be doing an assessment. So, I just, I hope she makes it through doesn't sound good so anyways I'm getting off track here <laughs> so I stopped um, actually I can't say that yet because I haven't even talked about the story yet I'll get to that so I'm just trying to follow my path so I, I went to the post office still nothing uh, I got an Amazon order today I, I got me a new um, wire cutters a new pair of wire cutters larger as the ones I have are really small and I have to really, really squish them to get them to cut wires. So I got a bigger pair. <clears throat> These ones are supposed to be 6 inches. I haven't seen them yet. but <clears throat> And I got a new soldering iron. The one I have isn't really all that wonderful. I bought it for electronics. So you know they're not really powerful enough to, to solder large wires together very well. So I got a, a 60 watt one and it's adjustable. So I can still use it for smaller things too, just lower the temperature on it. So it's kind of cool. I got both of them today. And I stopped inside to ask her. Um, I was prepared for an argument. The lady that was working was the one that uh, 
that refused to get my mail out of my box when I had to walk down there earlier in the year when both scooters were unavailable. Man, I forgot my keys. So I was feeling great. So my, my main question was going to be... Okay, I just got a text that scared crap out of me. My main question was going to be, are you still backed up? Because I know they're, they're short on, on help. I know that. And I know they're going to be behind, but I, I, as, as soon as I was about to ask that, she immediately started explaining. So I imagine she's, she's got that question a lot. But I was, I was polite. I wasn't angry. I wasn't, I want my mail now or anything like that. <clears throat> I just asked her, I says, are you guys still backed up right now? And that's when she started going, and it's like, okay, well, slow down. So I, I said, my sister mailed me something two weeks before Christmas, and both coasts got it that week, and I, I, was, I was just wondering, you know. But she says, yeah, it, it's probably going to be two or three weeks before they still catch up on letter mail. So apparently packages are going through, it's letter mail that's backed up. So that's good news. Because I was going to say, if she started saying something, like, you know, started giving me attitude, I was going to say, I said, I'm just hoping it didn't get put in the wrong mailbox, because if somebody dishonest got it, I'll never see it. And if she said, oh, that doesn't happen, right? I had a newspaper in my hand that was in my box today that was not in the right box. So, you know, I said, well, then explain this. This was in my box. <laughs> but I didn't have to do that. She didn't get nasty with me, so I didn't have to get nasty with her. She was prepared to. She was ready for an argument, so like I say, I'm sure she's been getting that a lot. But like I say, if they're short on help, I understand that. I, that's why I was asking. I just wanted to see if that's why everything's delayed. So that's kind of a confirmation on that. So I'm going to let my sister know when I text her today. <clears throat> he said it could be another two or three weeks before they get caught up on letter mail. So that covered that. So I'm not worried yet. Um, at some point, I'm going to give it probably another week, and I'm going to ask my sister, is, is if it's a check, you might want to put a stop on it and send me another one, just in case, right? Because <laughs> I don't want someone else cashing her check, right? So, <clears throat> uh, I went down to the dam. And there's still nowhere to park down there. So uh, last year, at the beginning of the snow, when there wasn't anywhere, I just drove into the snowbank and just parked a scooter in the snowbank. But too many people were stopping, thinking I was stuck. So I figured I'd avoid that. I just parked on the side of the road, left my my rear strobe light on, and walked down to the river and just kind of checked it out. But it, it's really weird because the snow is so wet now from melting. I'm walking through it. It's pretty deep, but I'm sinking down about six inches, and then the snow gets compressed enough it's supporting my weight. That was really weird. That was a weird feeling. So I kind of stood down the, the boat launch. The uh, concrete part was kind of bare because <clears throat> the snow blowing against the wall was kind of keeping it from piling up against it. So it was kind of a bare and leaned up against the wall. And when I came back, I, I walked in my same footprints, and it was like walking on concrete. It was compacted, and it was just kind of stuck in that position. So I was able to walk on solid ground coming back. It was really weird. And I just got back on the scooter and put my seatbelt on, and somebody pulled up beside me asking if I need help. <laughs> and no, nope, I just walked down to the river. Thank you. So whoever you are, thank you. That's why I parked there, so I was hoping to avoid that, but... It's nice to know people are concerned. Thank you for that. So, I went for another drive. I remembered I had to stop at the dollar store. I had to get garbage bags. I forgot about that. So, I did that today. And before I got to the dollar store, I stopped to ask somebody about something. Um, I, was, I was hoping to see somebody I knew today while I was out that you know has information about things that happen around here because I checked the the newspaper, or not newspaper, but online news places around here, including our radio station. And I can't find any information on it. So there was a, a, a nasty crash yesterday uh, outside of town. And it was a van versus a grader. 
So if you know what a grader looks like, you know, depending on where they hit, then, you know, it, it's, you know who's going to win. <laughs> Either way, you know who's going to win. But it, it sounded really bad. It was, it had three ambulances, a supervisor, uh, it was one serious injury, and some minor injuries. It was, there was like 10, 10 or 12 people in the van. And my first thought was, okay, it's a family traveling, but they didn't mention kids. They just said 10 people, 10 to, 10 to 12 people. So my thought, I started thinking maybe Mennonites, because Mennonites, when they travel distances, they all travel together in a van. So that was my thought. And they said the van was towing a trailer, and they had to extricate somebody, and... I imagine that was the same person, the one with the serious injuries, was was airlifted. So it was, it was pretty serious. And two other people were taken by ambulance to the hospital, and everybody else was brought to the Wingham Bar Department for you know, a warm place, I guess, is how they put it. So at this point, I'm, I'm still thinking Mennonites. Until they said somebody, one of the firefighters is going to the hospital to aid in translation. So, okay, well, I'm thinking, well, you don't have to translate Mennonites. <laughs> so then my thought went to, okay, we, we have, I'm assuming they're Mexicans in town. And I actually saw a bunch of them today, but they called them workers. So last night, while I was looking for information on this, it hit me, <clears throat> the turkey turkey catchers. I don't, I've never seen the people that do it, but uh, imagine, you know, they drive a van, and that van tows a trailer. <clears throat> when I go out at night, I see the turkey trucks parked, or, or chickens, you know, whichever they're doing, I'll call them poultry, poultry trucks, parked in Tim Hortons, and the van that's got the workers and the trailer are parked alongside it. I have seen that as a van tows a trailer. And these guys, they all, you know, they all go out travel together. So I'm wondering if that's what it was. And if I look at the intersection, I'll show you the intersection. This is where it happened. Um, there's, tur there's poultry barns all around there. So I'm thinking that might be it. And I go to Street View, uh, the main road there, which is Morris Road, and the side road, Clegg Lane, is gravel. So in the winter time, which I explained last last winter, I think, or a couple winters ago, gravel roads aren't cleared by snow plows. They're cleared by graders. Uh, two reasons. One, you can't drop salt on a dirt road because you'll make a muddy mess. <laughs> so they don't drop salt. And the other reason they use the graders is the bottom of the plow blade has teeth in it and it cuts grooves in the, in the ground which aids in traction. So I'm thinking maybe, I just, just a guess and speculation, I'm thinking maybe the grader pulled out in front of this van and it would be in slippery because uh, um, I'm not even sure. The main guy at the Blythe Fire Station anyways, he warned everybody that uh, Morris Road was slippery so I'm guessing, I'm going to take a guess. That's what happened. Pulled out in front of them. So, but it, it didn't sound good, anyways. And I'm, I'm not going to play that call right now. I'll let it come through my queue. I played the other two before because they were kind of related to what was actually happening at that time. You know. So, I'll let it come through. But it's it was kind of it was kind of sad sounding, anyways. It wasn't a nice crash. Well, it's not that any crash is nice, but. You know what I mean. So, I don't know, I, I just... I might try to shovel some of this right now. I got, I'll take my coat off before I do that. I'm already sweating. I'll, I'll sweat like crazy if I do that. If I sh start shoveling this stuff with my coat on. <laughs> um, like, my legs are soaking wet. I got my snow pants on. Pajamas underneath. Ow. Pajamas underneath. My legs are wet already. 
So I know my legs are going to sweat, but <clears throat> if I take my coat off, that'll help. I, I know, I gotta do some. I gotta at least try to get some of it done. Ow. That, that can't be there. That can't freeze like that. And I don't know how, how much rain we're gonna get. I don't know how much of that is actually going to melt. But we have to get rid of that. Because this, this whole curb all the way up to the snowbank needs to be cleared. I'm not too worried about this. This helps. Get, having this out of here helps as far as pushing the blower all the way across, but I'm not too worried about it. But the snowbank beside the road's got to go. And that's what I'm going to start with today and hope I get some progress done. We'll see. We'll see. So, I guess that's it for this back, back up update. I'm not sure where the backup came from. <laughs> that's all I got for this update.